So it's common knowledge that the iPhone 15 series is coming in less than two months and is expected to include four phones, the iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15 Pro, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And of course, there have been many rumors and leaks surrounding their features. Today, we'll focus on the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max and everything we know about them. Let's talk about it. As usual, these are the Pro models and so they'll have higher end features and be more expensive than the regular models. They are also the ones that usually get most attention from Apple. Starting with colors, they'll come with the usual space black, silver and gold colors with a new maroon or burgundy color that replaces the purple from last year. This new color looks very elegant and classy and I think it will be a popular choice among many customers. It's even better looking than the purple from last year. In terms of design, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will retain most of their looks from their predecessors. However, there are a couple tweaks here and there that Apple made. For instance, they will have a titanium frame instead of a stainless steel, making them lighter and more durable. They will also have a slightly curved bezel around the display, matching the curved rear glass for smooth and comfortable grip and also enhancing overall aesthetics. The last time we saw the curved edge display was 4 years ago with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Still on display, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is rumored to boast a display with a jaw-dropping maximum brightness of 2500 nits, setting a new standard for smartphone screens. One of the biggest changes that these phones will have is that they'll shift from having a lightning port to USB-C. While the standard iPhone 15 and 15 Plus models will adopt USB-C 2.0, the Pro models are taking it a step further with USB-C 3.2, which has faster data transfer and charging speeds. This is a huge upgrade for iPhone users who have been using Lightning for the last 10 years or so. Also, with USB-C, it's more convenient and compatible with most devices, so you don't have to worry about carrying many chargers for different devices. Another minor design change that these Pro models will have is that the mute switch on the side will now be a mute button, which is more convenient. Now let's talk about the cameras, which are usually one of the main selling points of any iPhone. Apple plans to make a significant change in the positioning of the lenses in the iPhone 15 Pro Max, although most people won't notice. The telephoto and ultrawide lenses would be swapped with each other to give Apple space to introduce a periscope zoom lens. With this addition, we can expect improved long range and zoom capabilities, capturing details even from a distance. Periscope lenses have been present in Android phones for some time now, so it's great to see Apple catching up. Moving on to connectivity, the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max will feature Wi-Fi 6E, but the standard iPhone 15 models will continue to use Wi-Fi 6. Compared to Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E offers more bandwidth, providing faster connectivity speeds, lower latency, and increased capacity. When it comes to processing power, Apple rarely disappoints. The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will continue with this tradition, featuring the groundbreaking Bionic A17 chipset the world's first 3 nanometer processor in a smartphone. This technological marvel promises unprecedented speed and efficiency, transforming your daily tasks into seamless experiences. With the Bionic A17, these devices may just set new records for smartphone performance. Finally, let's talk about battery life, which is always an important factor for all smartphone users. The good news is that these Pro models will have bigger batteries than their predecessors. The iPhone 15 Pro will have a 3650 mAh battery and increase from the 3200 mAh battery in the iPhone 14 Pro. The iPhone 15 Pro Max will have a 4852 mAh battery as compared to the 4323 mAh battery in the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Recent iPhones have already been in the context of having the best battery lives in smartphones. With this increase in battery size and presence of a new processor with better power management, we expect excellent battery life. Additionally, wired charging speeds are expected to receive a boost to 27 watts. While it's one of the slowest charging speeds in this day and age, it's still better than nothing. When it comes to wireless charging, the iPhone 15 models would support both MagSafe charging and the new QI2 standard. So you'll get 15 watt charging even from non-MagSafe third-party accessories. This is a nice feature because it gives you more options and flexibility when it comes to wireless charging. So those are all the rumors and what you essentially expect from the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. Let us know in the comments what you like and not like about these features. And if you like the video, you can subscribe, like and even share. Thanks for watching, I'm Milan and I'm signing out.